Robbie Walsh just described after his Cheltenham victory this year as different, just different. And can he prove himself once again in a different league in this opener? Six to four on he is. Three to one, his old adversary Grand Cru. The rematch in the BGC Partners Liverpool Hurdle Race. Mark Johnson is your commentator. And they're off. And Liverpool Day 2011 gets underway with the BGC Partners Liverpool Hurdle over the extended three miles. They have 13 flights. Nokara Bo, as is his wont, is sent to the lead by Jan Faltashek on the run towards the first flight. That jumps it clear of Guanaco over in second. Grand Crew is settled right at the back of the field by Tom Scudamore in company with Kaiba Kim and also Sentry Duty at the back of the field. They have two circuits to go and Nokara Bo leads the way to Guanaco racing in second and Possol is in third. Carlita Briganti taking quite a healthy turn in fourth position. He's a length and a half in advance, the reigning champion. That's Big Bucks racing in fifth as they go into the turn by the Grand National Star. Racing next is One in the Dark, who's just in advance of Karabakh, and then Markington, who is towards the outside of Grand Crew, and then Kyber Kim, who's just slightly squeezed up for room around that tight turn with Sentry Duty at the back of the field. Three flights of hurdles await them down the back straight, and it is Jan Faltashek and Nakara Bo, who's out clear now by a length and a half, to Guanaco racing in second. A break of two and a half lengths to last year's third. Possel racing in third position. Carlita Brigante is in fourth and Big Bucks is racing in fifth. And one in the dark will jump this flight in sixth and Karabakh was seventh. And Grand Cru was very slick over that and stole about a length from Karabakh. And then there's a length and a half back to on the inside Kyber Kim, Sentry Duty and Markington just at the back of the field as they go over the second flight down the back straight. Nokara Bo was the leader. Big Bucks didn't get terribly high there but it wasn't a serious error whatsoever. It didn't stop him at all as they go now towards the final flight taken down the back straight and as they do so it is Nokara Bo who leads the way. He leads now by a length and a half to Guanaco racing in second. Possol is in third position as they go towards this flight and as they do so it is Nokara Bo who led. Guanaco over in second just fiddled his way over that flight of hurdles. It was Karabakh on the inside who was just a bit fiddly over that and at the back of the field Markington has already been ridden along as now they're about to lead the back straight behind them in the BGC partners Liverpool hurdle grade one. Nakara Bo is still out in front by a length and a half to Guanaco in second and Possol is racing in third on the turn. Then Carlita Brigante is racing in fourth position. He's raced choke out so far. Big Bucks towards the inside with the big nose band is in fifth place. Followed then by Grand Cru, who is right in his slipstream. One in the dark is on their outside, followed by Sentry Duty, and then Karabakh, who shuffled back through the field. No move so far from Kaiba Kim, and Markington is last of the 11 as they make the turn into the home straight. On now towards flight number five, but still well over a circuit to go. And it's Nokara Bo who still leads the way. Guanaco has been his shadow throughout with the green cap. And then towards the inside, Possol will jump in third position. Followed in fourth by Carlito Briganti and Big Bucks. And then still taking a very strong hold, as is won't. Grand Cru towards the inside, still sticking right on the tail of Big Bucks. They come now to the wings of flight number six. And the leader over that was Nokara Bo. But now the field begins to bunch up, with the exception of Markington, who is struggling very badly. He's now dropped about eight lengths off the main body of the field. Kai Kim is still last but one. Going towards the flight, which were the last in the circuit's time, Nakara Bo just jigs a little bit away down that flight to the left, but jumps it clear of Guanaco now in a very close second, and Possol on the inside. Big Bucks is there right between the horses. On his outside in the maroon and white is Carlito Brigante, followed by the Grey Grand Crew, who is racing in sixth. One in the dark is in seventh. Karabakh is in eighth. Kaiba Kim is in ninth. Sentry Duty, two lengths away, is in tenth, and tailing off at the back of the field is Markington, eleventh and last, as they go into the turn with just under a circuit to go in the Liverpool Day opener and it's still Nakara Bo and now he's being pressed by Guanaco who's asked now to apply pressure towards the outside. A break of a length and a half away, Possol to the inside, Big Bucks is next and Ruby Walsh took a little look there, Tom Scudamore on Grand Cru just to see how his main rival is doing at the moment. Big Bucks has a length in hand over Grand Cru who is still really straining the reins. Carlito Briganti towards their outside, Karabakh is next as they go over the sixth from home and it was Nakara Bo who led the way. Karabakh towards the inside was just ridden for a few strides away from that flight of hurdles as they go on now towards flight number nine and it's still Nakara Bo. Guanaco being ridden. Possol, Big Bucks making ground. Stealthy head headway on the outside followed by Carlito Brigante and then between horses is Grand Cru. Karabakh is now being driven and getting reminders. He's just been overtaken now by one in the dark and by Kaiba Kim as they go now towards the fourth from home. The last in the back straight and it is Nakara 
Bravo who leads big bucks now makes ground towards the outside to take second and then in third was Carlito Brigante in fourth position is Grand Cru followed by Possel towards the inside when in the dark is still going well on the outside of Kaiba Kim as they leave the back straight behind them and big bucks now his massive presence is being felt as the Carabo now has a contested lead with big bucks there right on his outside still there waiting to pounce his Grand Cru still in the slipstream of big bucks as he was on this part of the track a circuit ago Carlito Brigante is hanging tough towards the outside trying to keep Grand Cru in a bit of a pocket there follow next to the field by one in the dark and then Kaiba Kim who's been nestled into the race to get the trip they've got it just under half a mile to go they have three flights to take and big bucks is out in front Carlito Brigante swings towards the near side Grand Cru is on the far side here's the third from home Grand Cru alongside big bucks who is still just coasting on the bit and Ruby Walsh has time to adjust his goggles meanwhile on the inside Tom Scudamore is asking for more from Grand Cru Grand Cru on the inside is the grey big bucks towards the near side back in third when in the dark Carlinto Brigante is back in fourth they've now got two furlongs to go one more flight to take Grand Cru on the far side big bucks simply seems to be laughing at him at the final flight big bucks is out in front and still yet to be asked Grand Cru is asked for everything he's game but at the moment He's two lengths away from Big Bucks. Big Bucks is going to win for the fourth time at the Grand National Festival. He wins this race for the third time. He wins 12 races back to back. Big Bucks imperious. Grand Cru, best of the rest. One in the dark was third, and Carlito Brigante was fourth. Different? Oh, yes, he is. He's just sensational. Big Bucks. 12 straight hurdles victories, the best horse in training. Let's put it as simply as that, because that's what he is.